What's motherfucking good, YouTube? God damn it! Strong Up Wounds for the Outlet Podcast. The greatest and the latest. The boldest and the coldest. AKA Platinum with no features. And I'm blessed and extremely highly, highly favored and shit. Um. So, what's on my mind today? So, I'm watching. I don't know what the fuck it was or what show the nigga was on. But Jermaine Dupri. I said something about this shit on my snap, but I'm gonna further elaborate into it here. Look, Jermaine Dupri pretty much said that, you know, a lot of female rappers rap about the same shit, stripper rap and yada, 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 which I agree, which, well, I agree and partially agree, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to call this the state of female rap, you know what I'm saying? And this just is just my opinion on it, per se, right? Now, when I think of female rappers, because I don't listen to female rap like that, I think of Meg Thee Stallion, which really the only song I've ever heard from her was Big Old Free. I think of Nicki Minaj. And this is really off the top of my head. This is not me pulling up no Google, no funny shit, or trying to like pretend like I know. I'm giving you exactly what I think in real time. So, what up? What was it? Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, the CD Girls, and I don't know if they count for one spot. And let me think of the fifth one. Hmm. I can't think of one. It'll come to me in a second. But I'm just saying, like, those are, like, the hottest ones I know of. You know what I'm saying? And I think when Jermaine Dupree was giving his opinion, this is me personally. I think he was speaking in the aspect of, like, from where I'm speaking from. Because I don't know female rappers like that. I don't go looking for motherfuckers. I don't search for Megan the Stack. I had to search for her shit yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Because they say she's so raw and this, that, and the third. Now, anybody that knows me knows I'm a rap critic. And I will give you exactly what I think. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to pull no punches. All right? But I think Jermaine Dupri was speaking from the aspect of a person that don't know like that. Because I don't know like that. I don't walk around thinking the female rappers all day. I don't. Like... I can tell you my favorite five male rappers on the top of my head without thinking about it. Like, but what I'm saying is, he's getting all this backlash. Oh yeah, Trina. <laughs> but that technically Trina isn't like current. But um, he's getting all this backlash from it because basically it kind of is like, oh well, these girls don't be rapping like that, and all I hear is stripper rap. Which, if I was a female rapper, I would have an opinion on it. But there are girls out here getting, like, pissed for real. Like, I heard Cardi B's response. And I heard Trina's response. And I'll kind of go through it and briefly tell you. Trina was pretty much like, listen, rap, as far as, you know, no. I would say rap in general. Because it's not just girls. You know, female rap. No, rap in general. I'm tripping. Um, Rap in general, motherfucker. God damn it is at a point when motherfuckers, the majority of people that's like hot, they're not putting a lot of thought into their music. A lot of stuff is trap rap. A lot of stuff is mumble rap. A lot of stuff is, you know, was it drill music and shit? You know, and the West Coast. The West Coast is really popping right now. You know what I'm saying? But these are not guys, and I'm not saying there aren't rappers that aren't doing it, but a lot of the, the shit you hear on the radio isn't some like, overthought of shit like it's not no most songs i hear on the radio i'm pretty sure they're, they're real simplistic songs because i hear kids singing it like okay take old town Rome for example i'm pretty sure little nas x didn't put a whole lot of thought into that song when he put it out i mean he probably did it would it seemed that song to me seemed like a song that was like the production and the feature from um Billy Ray Cyrus is what carried it because it's Billy Ray Cyrus of a rap beat and everything. You know, it's a catchy little tune. But what I'm saying is the majority of rap right now isn't no who's trying to be the most lyrical motherfucker. That shit is over with. You got Kendrick, Cole, Drake, as far as lyrical rappers, Big Crit. Mm. And I'm pretty sure there's some more rappers. I just can't think of them off the top of my head right this second. Kendrick Cole and Drake are the main ones that come to my head in big crit. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z. I'm just talking about people that's like current, current. Like still making moves, still putting out albums. You know what I'm saying? Right now. 
So when Trina was pretty much like the state of fem the state of rap, you know, these girls are not. These girls are really speaking their lifestyles. They're speaking their um the things they're going through. And these women are 21. They're younger, so they're not putting a whole lot of thought into it. Well, I want to say they're not putting a whole lot of thought into it. They're speaking from experience. And to be honest with you, I can I can really respect that statement. I really can because it's it's a really honest statement. Trina hit the nail on the head with that one. Like, motherfuckers in rap today are not trying to be the most lyrical rappers. And to be blunt with you, the most lyrical rap, the most lyrical, lyrical trying to rap, like niggas is really spitting some 16 bars and shit. That shit ain't popping like that no more. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck about who's spitting the hardest verse and yada, yada, yada. Like, I'll have people tell me, oh, man, listen to this cat. He hard. And I'm like, all right, he all right. Because I'm I'm 30 years old. I, I come from a time when niggas really was, like, standing over, like, a fire barrel and really rapping their ass off. Like, I haven't had to hit the rewind button on a lot of niggas as of late. But we ain't talking about niggas. Now, Cardi B, on the other hand, she was pretty much, like... It seemed like that's what motherfuckers want to hear about sex rap. Because, I mean, here's the thing. My sister's a big fan of Cardi B, so I hear her music, whether I want to or not. And I think, to me, on a scale of 1 to 10, Cardi B's a 6. As far as, like, skill. Like, she's about, like, a step below a 50 Cent. And that's not me being funny, really. But, like, okay, take someone like 50 Cent, for example. He wasn't, like, the most lyrical nigga out of the group, but he could really... He had a flow. And Cardi got a flow. But at the same time... Cardi B is not going to resonate with me because she's not talking about shit that I relate to. I don't relate to fucking like that pussy popping in the club shit. Like that ain't my strong, my, my stilo like that. It ain't, it ain't me. It ain't what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that these chicks ain't really spitting. It's just they all coming from environments where... A lot of that stuff that they're rapping about is, you know, current, I would say. So the whole thing with Jermaine Dupri saying like, oh, there's no lyrical rappers. Or there's no chick out here trying to be the best bar for bar chick. I think he's absolutely right. And the thing I'm starting to really hate about this whole Jermaine Dupri shit is that motherfuckers keep trying to like spin it to where it's not what it is. Listen, that man knew that that man know if he hearing some lyrical females like that. Out of Nikki Cardi, the City Girls, Trina, and Meg Thee Stallion, I'd say Nikki raps the best out of all of them, easily. Nikki can, and I remember hearing Nikki a long time ago. Nikki had done said some shit that I almost wanted to like ride around and play, like the thing with like female rappers and shit. Like niggas like female rappers on the slick, but they don't walk around singing their verse because it's like as soon as you start ripping this bitch verse in your head, she start talking about some dick and it's like, man, you can't even really, you know, say it like that. But that's a little side note or whatever, right? But what I'm saying is with this female rap shit, y'all be acting like these bitches really be spitting, spitting. To me, I can't co-sign it completely. That's not to say they're whack. I think they're great. I think they're good at what they do. Selling songs, making music that women relate to. You know what I'm saying? Talking about topic. Like all this stuff that these girls rap is shit that girls relate to. The city girls, are, like Young Miami got a flow. I'm not going to say it's not. I don't hear much about JT. You know what I'm saying? I don't. To be blunt with you, and I'm being honest with you, this isn't. Everybody takes honesty like it's some backhanded shit. I'm just not the nigga to co-sign your shit like that. I'm not going to tell you what I think. And with the state of female rap, you know what I'm saying? But that's just like the ones you hear that are popular. Now, there are girls that I don't really know about that really do rap about real shit and make real deep and thought-provoking music, you know what I'm saying? But those are not the chicks that get heard from like that. So from the perspective of someone like Jermaine Dupri, he's speaking in an instance where he don't really know because he's not really paying attention to it. Now, the thing with it that kills me also with it is y'all keep wanting this man to spin his opinion to make it sound like some other shit that makes... It's like, when it comes to chicks, and this is kind of what I hate about even giving advice to girls sometimes. It's like, it's got to be on some comfort shit. Like, oh, you hating because you tell them, you tell them the interview exactly what you think. And now it's like, he trying to throw a cipher on all this other shit. And them bitches is like, nah, I ain't fucking with it because y'all hating on us. 
Nah, motherfuckers is being blunt with you. Like, you can't. You, we live in a time when you can't tell a motherfucker that you know what they what you really think of them. Like, I see interviews do that. Like, y'all motherfuckers be massaging people instead of telling them what y'all really think. I think the only person I can think of off the top of my head that don't do it is Charlemagne the God from motherfucking Breakfast Club. He will tell the motherfuckers exactly what he think. And you can tell that it's exactly what he think because it rubs the motherfuckers the wrong way when they hear it. That's not hating, bro. Like, that's really being honest with people. Like, okay, let's go back to this Meg the Stallion shit, right? Now, I've heard about Meg, that man, Meg the Stallion, which I don't know why she spells it V-E with two E's, but motherfuckers been chopping up rat names for a long time. It's cool. I'm used to it. Um, I've checked out a couple of her freestyles. You know what I'm saying? She got that whole double time flow shit going on. Now, don't get me wrong. She she can really flow. I think she's on, I think she can, she has great breath control. I think she can really, ugh, I hate one. You bite on shit. Um, I think she has great breath control. I think she has a great cadence when she speaks. You know what I'm saying? But the problem with female rappers is they don't. I don't resonate to them like that. Like Slim Fine Girls got a twerk for her. That wasn't meant for me. That was meant for these chicks that got a baby daddy and can't find a babysitter on the weekend and leave their kids with their grandma. That ain't for my black ass. That's why niggas ain't gonna relate to it like that. But you got some niggas, you know what I'm saying, they like female rap or either got a little sugar in their tank and they with that type of shit. It don't resonate with me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to sit here and not listen to a female rap because she's a female. That's kind of like sexist a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But my point is as far as the Megan Meg Stallion shit. I have heard her. I've heard her raps. And I can tell you exactly what I think because I asked that question the other day on my Facebook or whatever. And the response, the one response I did get was from my homeboy Shane. He was like, she's a six. And I was like, that's funny that you say that. Because I I was thinking the same number in my head. Like, Meg the Stallion to me sounds like another version of the first five, four girls I named. Only one that really stands out to me is Nikki. And Nikki's getting to a point where it's like, she been saying the same type of shit. Like, she, you know how some motherfuckers, like, the argument on the counter side of this argument that I'm telling you would be like, oh, male rappers say the same type of shit. Listen, we all know that male rappers say the same type of shit. That ain't the point. But the point is, is that you, okay, you can take five niggas that all rap about the same shit. But each of them five niggas going to spin it in a different way. The thing with these stripper rappers is y'all all rapping over the same type of production. Y'all all are rapping with, y'all fucking with the same DJs and shit. Y'all all making the same type of music. Like, it's the same problem with the trap shit. In a sense, like, nobody really stands out. Like, Cardi B to me stands out the most. Nicki raps the best. Cardi stands out the most to me because of one, she has a very... You could put all five of them females on the track and I think Cardi B would stand out the most. Young Miami would be second. No, Young Miami would be third and Nicki would be second. You know what I'm saying? Just, I will, honest to God, I think that would be a better thing. I think all of them should really just jump on one track or all do a mixtape and we just... Judge it off that, see who's the best out of that. But at the same time, like I said, motherfuckers is not rapping from that. Oh, I'm trying to bring the verse, verse type shit. I got the hardest verse. These bitches ain't thinking like that. Rap has become a hustle. Motherfuckers is trying to hustle this shit, and it ain't so much more about craft. And you can tell who's crafting their music and who's not. Because when I hear Big Crit and J. Cole and Drake and motherfucking um Kendrick Lamar, I can tell that these motherfuckers been sitting on it. And mixing little pieces and moving this and changing the beat. And you can tell who gives a fuck about the crowd versus like a nigga that's just like, oh, I'm going to just write this verse over this production that old boy made for me. Send it to this nigga. He going to slap it on the end of this shit. And that's going to be that. You know what I'm saying? That's just me being a rap critic. But this has been Rondell Wiz from the Outlet Podcast. Y'all like, share, and motherfucking subscribe, dog. And I'm going to always give you the real when it comes to the rap shit.